Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to do a 3D floor in Adobe Flash. <laughs> so okay, let's get started with this tutorial. It's actually quite easy to do, like it's not too complicated. And it's actually very interesting, like the way I can do this type of stuff. And yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. So first of all, uh, we have to start with a rectangle tool and we do like a square like this. So we want to select another color and we copy, like we copy paste this one and we put it like this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to, to look it better, to see better like this. So now that they are together, what I wanna do is I'm gonna select another color and I'm gonna do like this. So they are different colors, right? Let's say this one is brighter and this one is darker and that looks good like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy paste the same one and I'm gonna do like this. Yeah, I'm gonna... So as you can see, now we have dark, uh, bright, dark, bright. Now we can copy paste it again. And I'm gonna put it this way, okay? Nah, I have to put it higher. Okay, this is kind of tricky to be honest. I'm gonna put it right there in the corner, as you can see. So, perfect. So this one is, we have to erase this one because like it doesn't matter. Now we can fill this in right here and use this color, obviously. So what this is gonna look like is basically like a chess, like a chess table, you know what I'm saying? Like one color, another color, one color, that way. Now, what we should do is, okay, I'm gonna zoom out. We're gonna copy this thing, copy paste, and like do the same thing. You know, copy paste, the same thing. It's really easy because every time you do it, it becomes bigger and bigger because you basically like are doubling the size. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but yeah. But you have to be careful because you have to put it in the right spot. As you can see, it's getting out. it's getting really big right now. So I'm, I'm gonna see how this goes. Put this here. And I think that this size is okay. So now I'm gonna select the free transform tool what I'm gonna do, here's the, the magic part, okay? Here's the part where it gets interesting. Well, not actually, but anyways. Like this. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what we want to do. So, the way that I'm doing this is you have to press control in the keyboard and put yourself in a corner like this. So, you will be able to do this. But now, if you wanted to do it in both sides, well, here you can do interesting stuff, like as you can see. This is very cool. Whoa, look at this. It looks like it's 3D, like super cool. But to do it like in both sides, you have to press shift, right? So you press control and shift. So now you can do this, this way, okay? You can expand the part in the bottom as much as you want, like that, for example. And now, as you can see, we have like a 3D scenario, like, like a 3D floor. It looks very cool. And if you want to make it like a more realistic, you can double click the line. You double click the line and then you delete. And that's it. You have like a 3D, very cool looking floor. So if we preview the animation, this is like the effect that we got. It's like... Yeah, like a 3D floor. So you can use this for animations, for drawings, or whatever you want. I think it's a very a very cool trick. 
and yeah i hope you liked it and see you in the next video and also in my channel i have a lot more videos about photoshop and about flash so if you're learning this type of stuff just go check them out because i have a lot of content and a lot of good stuff there so yeah go check them out and thank you for watching